Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 11. Okay, uh, in the previous episode, um, we like we were almost going to see a match between Ryu and Ice and I'm not sure if they are going to show that uh, in this episode or in the uh, like future episode. But I do wish so that they do because I don't know like it is really a unique matching like Ice herself is like the sword princess. She's so damn strong, level 6 or 7. And Ryu is pretty damn strong as well. So, yeah, I want to see it. But I doubt they'll show. Let's see, let's, let's just hope. And um, another thing that happened almost at the end was like uh, when Bell and. With Wiene and. Uh, what's that? Bell and Wiene, they were like when they were running away, uh, they met with Tiona. Now, a fight will ensure, as far as I can see, so let's see what, like, uh, Bell is pretty strong now, so I hope, hope he can handle Tiona himself. So, let's see, let's see what this episode brings, so without further ado, let's get started with episode number 11 of Tanmachi season 3. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1. Go. Oh no, we never got lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm remembering it. And uh, Bell and Haruhime are coming for, like, like going for her, trying to find her. Yeah, I kind of completely forgot that. Okay. Oh no. Okay. He did not push. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, like, they also understand the, like, thing that these are not typical monsters. These are Xenosis. A, a completely different type of species, you can say. Maybe mutations, who knows. So, yeah, like, Fiona herself is pretty um understandable like like as far as I've like noticed her first of all she like obviously like likes hero stories so the story of Argonaut and all and she is like a bit favorable towards Belle like we even saw her training Belle previous in season 2 so I hope she and a few others like understand like yeah bell is doing this because like they are not monsters they have um like consciousness human emotions so and they realize that maybe what we are doing kill trying to kill them is wrong let's hope <laughs> otherwise this won't end like this will have to end in a way that bell and xenos says would be able to like come back and live in Horario. Otherwise, this won't like this, that's the only outcome that is favorable. Otherwise, Bell will have to like always run away, like keep like a like running like, away like a fugitive. That won't do. Okay, here is Haruhime. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, he's using stealth as well. Oh my god, this guy. <sighs> oh yeah, Mikoto and uh, Welfare also fighting Gareth. It won't work. This guy is tough. Like, Oh my god, and he's like a high level. My god. Damn, he like destroyed the thing. <laughs> oh boy. Wait. Oh no. Okay, let's see if she does not attack him, her, and 
you want to seize it that you'll understand oh yeah, yeah she's going to save her Yep. Thankfully, Tiona sees this and understands. <clears throat> oh boy. I doubt any magic sword would be against who's any throat. Oh, this girl, I forgot. Subaki, Subaki. Yeah, she's helping them, okay. Oh, Hephaestus. Okay. Okay. This lady will be a tough opponent. Thank God. <coughs> oh, good job. Thankfully, he is incapacitated. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. He's uh, he's neutralized. <clears throat> Come on, realize the fact that they are different. <laughs> Come on, talk, we need it. Feel like then. Wait, talk? Say something? Oh no. <laughs> I forgot uh, her sister's name. Um, like her name is Tiona, but what was her sister's name? Yule or something like that. <laughs> okay, thank God they caught up. Okay. Okay. Oh. The wolf guy. What was his name? I always forget the names. Wait. Okay, how do he make this come out? She can't fight. Uh. Oh, level boosting. Yep. Wait, this is level boosting, isn't it? Wait, what is this? That's not level boosting. Or is that? Oh yeah, it is. Aisha is here. Thank God. Well, she is... Uh, yeah, she is... A person who buffs others. She's a support character, so. Okay. Okay, who will come now in front of Bell? Let's see.
they did not like show us the battle. I knew it, like they were going to do something like this. There it is. Yeah, like she Okay. Don't work. Okay, come on. One thing, Bell knows Isis' attack pattern. He has trained with her a lot. So, but still, she's a level six. Like, my God, damn! She's sweeping the floor with him. Okay, come on. If Haruhime was even here, it would have been a little. Okay, he, she's he's trying to distract her and like, okay, this is like a better way of doing it because he can't win. Full frontal, he can't win. Yeah, run away. That's the best thing you can do. Well, Betty is the winner, obviously. <laughs> yeah, like just Oh, the Minotaur place. Oh, will we see Asterios here? Yeah, I think we'll see Asterios again. Asterios like is inside there, so oh wait. He's doing the same he did with Hestia. Yeah, let's yeah, the same. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay.
Well, this is Bell, I hope. Yeah, like if it's then like you have to go and but who knows? <clears throat> like you have to do it this way, otherwise you cannot like run away forever. Like this is literally running away or forever. They have to like like run from one place to another. Okay. Ooh. Okay. He scratched her, but still, that's the extent. Yeah. Yeah, we also kill people, like... What the hell are you saying? Come on, let her okay. Well, she has her own problems, and, and I know that's the reason why he's like going, he's going this far. Oh no. <laughs> That's her conviction. Oh my god. Okay, if eyes doesn't like understand after this even, I don't know what to do. Like, expect even after going this far.
Okay. Okay, so what else problems are still left? I'm thinking like what else can like hinder them? Pin can do it. Oh. Okay, that is a z Yeah, that means Asterius also has uh Consciousness, like that means he's also Xenos. I have a bad feeling about this guy. He's so smart. Okay. I was not expecting that voice from that goblin. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so t temporarily they're like going away, all right. Okay, well, everything's fine then. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did she do? Wait. What? Oh, what a cliffhanger was that? <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, probably the next episode. Okay, this is episode 11. How many episodes will this season have? Okay, I'll check it out. Just a sec. Okay, I'll check it out later on. First, I have to talk about it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, this is something what what I expected. Like, I s eventually uh, understanding. Like, mm, yeah, she is isn't still probably convinced. I'm sure about that, but at least she is like convinced that Vina is good. Like, she won't hurt others. I'm not about uh, sure about the other Xenoses, what her like opinion about them is, because obviously she has only interacted with uh, Wiene only. So eventually, I'm like hoping that this prejudice uh, against uh, like not pre like not prejudice, like uh, they are like obviously like uh, they are they should. Like hate monsters because uh, monsters like they unnecessarily kill, uh, unnecessarily kill, and okay, this, I'll talk about it. Dead end. Wait, was this a trap? Wait, what? Wait, yeah, what? Wait, what? Wait a minute, so... Is this also a, like... Great by like this guy like fools around too much. 
we've seen him like uh, in situations like this as well when he appears to be a bad guy but ultimately we get to know that yeah he was doing it under some kind of instruction or he is has some kind of other goal in mind when doing something like this is hermes so i'm not sure like if this like if this he's serious about this if this is something that he did um secretly or not um but technically like uh the notebook uh okay so uh, that was not a cliffhanger we got to know at the end what actually happened the notebook was a fake one which most probably hermes gave uh hestia to like lure them in in that place so this amount of planning i don't know i think maybe this is something he really wants he really wants to like kill the uh, xenosis but why he said something about heretical monsters so i don't know anyways we'll probably get our answer in the next episode so yeah like i'm still not uh what can i say i'm still not crossing out the fact uh, uh crossing out uh the possibility that this might be something that like hermes as always that he does like he fools around he like plays these kind of tricks which are like yeah i did it under someone else's command or like he has some kind of an other result in mind so he is like doing these kind of things so that it ultimately leads to that result what he wants so these kind of things so i'm not sure completely i cannot completely like um like cross off the possibility that it is something like that or it might be simply like as he said that uh he wants to kill them like that was i don't know like what to uh, expect like this is hermes anything can happen but if if he really wants to kill them why like it even uh like fels didn't know about anything about it <laughs> oranos is also like uh, on board with the whole thing of saving the xenosis so i'm not sure um like i don't know why is he trying to kill some kind of grudge maybe who knows anyways uh we'll see <clears throat> okay um so yeah this episode uh as i was saying uh, it went as i was expecting that um i kind of understood that these monsters are different from the usual monsters they see and she understood and uh like obviously like that is the only option because eyes is level six like in no way in like in his dreams could even bell like uh defeat her like just look at the consequence like bell was only able to scratch her armor that was the extent and like he got defeated so yeah even like ryu was unable to do it. so but um <clears throat> I was not sure how they were going to do it and like we got to know in this episode like Wina came back and she showed her like extent like uh, the extent of her conviction to stay with Belle and do whatever uh like he has to do to stay with him. So yeah and hopefully uh this like too little um like this thing of like um accepting Xenos this uh thing has sprouted in two of the uh, like characters in this episode in this episode number one is obviously ice second one is tiona so i'm hoping um this continues and they like eventually get to understand that monsters and xenos they are two different things like monsters can like kill indiscriminate like uh without any reason but xenoses are different like xenoses are basically humans like uh, the things that i was saying like uh, your uh, nails hurts others your wings uh, f makes others uh, fear you uh, you kill uh, <clears throat> without any reason so uh, so you are different from us but that's not it like as bell said that that's basically humans like humans are the same xenoses are the same there are some there might be some good xenoses there might be some bad xenoses and bad xenoses will act like monsters and they will be kind of like a monster because only more calculative or more uh like vicious than monsters because obviously like xenoses have uh 
brains they can think and they have the strength of a monster so they will be more vicious more cunning and more powerful than normal monsters so yeah like that's basically the same like like that doesn't mean that uh like there are like we never say that yeah there are bad humans so we should like destroy the whole humans <laughs> like <laughs> all the humankind we should destroy them like like if like just think about it if there were some kind of superior beings than us for example um who knows some kind of a god type of uh, like uh being or some kind of aliens who are like superior to us so if suddenly they come on earth and they live for a few days and then they say that nah humans are extremely bad they kill people they like lie they are cunning they are bad so we should completely destroy the whole humankind like just think about it this is basically what ice is doing she is like i am not only ice everyone like everyone uh, like in this even like show who are like not like does not uh, like look kindly towards the Genesis. That's basically what they're doing. They're saying that yeah, monsters are bad. That means each and every Xenos is bad, but that is not the case. Xenos is there. There is good Xenosis and bad Xenos. It's just like uh, good humans and bad humans. So <clears throat> this is the thing that they should understand first. Like I understand the whole thing of them not getting this fact because they are not used to it. They are used to the factor that all monsters are bad. So if suddenly they see <clears throat> some monster that can talk they will automatically think that ha huh, what's what is the like um <clears throat> difference between them they will think like these monsters can talk these monsters can talk that's basically the difference so why should we like spare these monsters and not them like we should kill these monsters as well they're basically thinking like this but they have to understand like <clears throat> just like there are good humans there are good xenosis as well so we should definitely not like kill each and every one of them so yeah and i don't know like i think the best way to like counteract this situation is to make a new kind of town or new place a new city let's say where the xenosis will like go and only xenosis will live now this is only in the beginning i'm saying like uh only Xenosis will live. Now here is the thing. People will definitely get curious. <clears throat> they will most probably go to Xenosis, the Xenosis city and see the Xenosis for themselves. Some curious people. Then they will come back to their human cities and like talk about them, share their like experience with them and good experience, bad experience. This will make other people curious as well and they'll also try to go. They'll start mingling. Then <clears throat> when they like start mingling with each other they like start um, like interacting with each other they will understand the humans will understand that yeah they are not so different from us so after that if they want uh, like they, they can they can like make another city where like the xenosis and the humans who want to live uh, alongside xenosis can like live together like i think that is the best way to like counteract this so that uh, like, like the, I think like this is the best way to make the whole uh, like difference between them go away because obviously uh, like people are afraid of new things and um, like uh, the powerlessness of like I've seen uh, like I've uh, like uh, here's the thing humans especially in the, like uh, animes and every, everything like there are like in fantastical animes where like there are mythical beings and all hmm. humans are kind of the weakest race usually for example let's take danmachi only like these monsters are the stronger than humans elves are like uh, stronger amazon oh no amazons are like uh, humans only they're not something different uh, dwarfs they are also like stronger all of these different kind of like species they are like stronger than humans humans are the weakest so that is the reason why they like fear so much of new about um, like new things when they see some kind of uh, being who is different from them they get this fear of like uh, nah, they won't they hurt me what will we what will i do if they suddenly attack us because of their weakness so that's the reason why they're like they like does not look kindly to other species and everything i'm talking about anime in general and usually we see this so yeah so 
that's why all of these things happens like they don't like uh other like species they try to like um wage war against them destroy them all of these things happens so in fear that maybe someday they will like attack us so yeah like there's nothing you can do about it so that's uh, the best way to like counteract this is take the uh Zeus somewhere else let them live their own life and maybe in the future they humans and xenosis will like um, understand each other's difference and be able to like um, talk with each other be able to understand each other and then like maybe someday they will also be able to like live in the same place and uh, like live a normal life so yeah okay uh, anyways um yeah this episode was basically um them fighting and them understanding two of them like tiona and ice that maybe xenosis are not so different than us maybe we can forgive them not forgive there's nothing to forgive like the xenosis never did anything wrong like maybe we can understand them come to a, a peaceful relationship <coughs> And the end, uh, like the thing that happened in the end, obviously, like uh, Venus showed her conviction, and she is now alone with the other Xenosis. So I don't know, like the Hermes. I don't know if that trap was set uh, by Hermes himself or under someone's command. Wait a minute, is this something done by Uranus? No, I don't think so. Like. Uranus has nothing. Why? What would he gain by doing these kind of? Like we know, Fels is on like their team on the like Xenosis team, but I'm not so sure about your Uranus because like he's so uh, mysterious and like uh, stoic. Like we barely saw him laugh even. Like <laughs> okay, the, maybe like that is something that I am like judging. <laughs> Just because he doesn't laugh doesn't mean that he's a bad guy. But still, like uh, the emotions, we barely get to see anything in his face. He's always like this grumpy old guy. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, uh, who knows? Like, if Uranus had to do this kind of like this kind of a stuff, why would he like uh, bother to help them? Like, he could have like left them alone. No, this is probably not something Uranus did. This is most probably something Hermes is doing on his own or under someone's command. I don't know. So yeah, let's just wait and watch what happens in the next episode. And also, um, Asfi is there with Hermes, and I'm not sure if uh, other advent like the people from the Hermes family is also there. Yeah, like m most probably the uh, like top people are there because Aisha. Aisha is technically a Hermes family a member, but he was she was fighting um, for the Xenosis, so she didn't know anything about this. That means most probably Hermes and a few of his like top member of his family, like Asfi and some other I don't know whether there's someone else or not, uh, is like like doing this under Hermes's command. Who knows? Let's see. Uh, Asfi is pretty strong, so. But there's Fels, like Fels is like the ultimate healer <laughs> and he can even resurrect people so and there are so many Xenoses so I think everything will be okay and if oh and Hestia also realized the whole fake thing and I think she realized that Hermes tricked them so most probably she'll inform Belle and Belle will also go in to help them so yeah hopefully everything will be wrapped up nicely in the next episode we'll have to wait and watch yeah so yeah guys and uh, this was episode number 11 of danmachi season 3 if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode about the anime in general i'll be sure to sure to check them out um so yeah guys um i'll be back with a new danmachi episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day